Chad and Tyrone Red Pill 101. A lot of people that are new to Red Pill or the Manosphere uh, aren't really sure what certain terms are if they come across a piece of content or whether they come across the Red Pill through Red Pill Rage, whether that's experience with women, a certain event in their life, multiple events, observation. And so they start looking for certain answers or YouTube videos and they'll come across red pill content and not un understand it necessarily. So I want to do a Chad and Tyrone kind of red pill 101 about what those mean. So Chad and Tyrone being placeholder terms for alpha male. Chad being the white alpha male, Tyrone being the black alpha male. And when it comes to alphas and betas, that's a relative thing because there's different circumstances and perceptions on what is alpha and what is beta. Some things can be very universal. So kind of like the, the jawline, the strong jawline, the height, the bone structure, the facial features, the genetics. There's certain physical characteristics that are generally perceived as alpha, such as the strong jawline versus the double chin. But even among what you would call alphas, there's always the other guy. There's always like the other alpha. There's always something else. So when people say, oh, the ultimate alpha male, or they can think of something in their head, and they think 6'4", ripped body, facial features, jawline, CEO, talented, it, multiple things just just go down a list with like a hundred different adjectives or whatever and people can comprise what they think is the ultimate alpha male and even with that 6'4 alpha male there's always like the 6'5 alpha male or the 6'2 alpha male that still has the height but maybe you said that the 6'4 guy checked every box and now the 6'2 guy to a particular woman she just resonates with him better whether that's physically mentally emotionally spiritually we all have different backgrounds and different experiences and we all met different people that shape our way of viewing the world. You could be born in a culture where they just pierce their ears and kind of open up the, the earlobes and so they have those big earrings and so that's considered attractive. So if you just don't have those massive earrings, you're just not considered attractive to someone that's born there and that's the culture. and that's just one example, but I'm saying like with millions of different things you can think of in terms of someone's upbringing and their psychology and what they view things as, it's all relative. So when it comes to Chad and Tyrone, they're placeholder terms. And what I mean by that is it's relative to that particular woman of how she's viewing whatever in her sexual preferences dating preferences, life preferences, her opinions on things. So me as a 27 year old man, there could be a 17 year old guy out there and maybe senior in high school or something, his girlfriend or a girl he's with, a girl he's attracted to, me as a guy that's 10 years older, there could be a situation in which I can just provide more for her, whether that's somewhere to live or maturity knowledge of the world the fact I can grow a full beard so physical reasons so me at 27 I'm gonna be farther along so to speak than a lot of 17 year olds and so I could be considered the alpha in a certain context based on 17 year old guys with girls in their age groups but because it's relative, you could look at me at 27, trying to come up in the world as a man in my 20s, and there could be a guy that's 37, 10 years older than me, and he already has a business that's launched, and he's got employees under him, and he has free time and residual income, and he's traveling the world. Something that I just can't provide a woman right now. And so, in that situation, I could be the beta, and then he could be the alpha Chad or the alpha Tyrone. So it's all relative. If you go into a plane, the pilot, you could say, is the alpha. 
if you're on a construction site, the guy who knows how to build things, the construction worker could be the alpha. Uh, a policeman could be an alpha in a certain uh, crisis situation. A teacher in a classroom. A doctor and you're sick. Uh, anything. A lawyer, you need to get out of trouble with the law. So the terms alpha and beta are not 100% like every single guy is going to be an alpha in every situation and every single guy is going to be a beta in every situation. It's all going to be relative based on the woman. So her hypergamy is going to kick in. Hypergamy being the woman always trying to seek her best option, whether that's resources, money, food, shelter, emotional connection, whatever makes her life easier or better by her perspective, whatever man facilitates that for her. So she's never yours. It's just your turn in the timeline of how things happen. You don't own another human being. We're all individuals and we make choices. So you never own a woman. She's never yours. It really is just your turn. And this isn't to say give up on women and it's not even a bad thing. And you could flip it the other way around too. Like no guy is hers and he, uh, it's just his turn or it's just her turn. It's a, it, but I'm talking as a guy on my channel so that's why I'm referring to it in that context where she's not yours, it's just your turn. But the hypergamy thing is very important to understand for guys because we are living creatures, human beings. Make no mistake about it. You look at lions, dogs, hippos, anything. Two eyes, nose, ears, mouth, eats, goes to the bathroom, reproduces, male, female. We are living creatures. Humans are another species. We are living creatures. So there are certain factors of reproduction in terms of genetics, security, somewhere to live, a healthy environment. So a woman always has that hypergamy that kicks in where she's always going to be seeking out her best option. So as we start off in the world, depending on what you think the origins of the world are, you can be all science-based and think there's no soul and nothing matters and it's just a big bang and all of that. You could be the polar opposite and be completely religious and yes, it's Adam and Eve and we come from two people. Point is though, we all descend from the same people at some point back in time and there's a bottlenecking where you start with a few people and it expands and the population grows exponentially. So as new people are coming into the world and we have different factions and people start fighting over food and resources and shelter and sex and religion, certain power dynamics are in play. So something like the man being 6'5", as opposed to being 5'2", there's that protection aspect in the woman's mind. Not only for physical combat, but her kids will be taller. Just genetically, her kids will be taller. So you're always gonna be on that hamster wheel of some sort of metric by her perspective. You're never the only guy. So it's good to keep that in mind. But even with the 6'5 guy, there's the 6'6 guy. Or even if you think you're 6'2 yourself and that's tall, there's the 6'3 guy. Or you make six figures. Okay, you make a hundred grand. Wow, how many people can say they make six figures? Well, that guy makes a million dollars. <laughs> you're, you're, you're buff and you can lift a bunch of uh, weight in the gym. You got massive muscles. Well, that guy's a professional bodybuilder and he lifts more than you. Or that guy's bald. This guy's got a full head of hair. Or this guy can't play an instrument. This guy's super talented and rocks it at guitar and s sells out arenas and pumps up a crowd and just like the way that we just choose to do things and spend our time and express our talents, what we think is attractive, it's all very relative. But make no mistake about it when it comes to the money and the looks and certain evaluations, like being homeless versus having a billion dollars in the bank, that's a power that affects things. And you're always going to be 
up for evaluation with those things to that woman. So Chad would be the stereotypical white alpha male. Tyrone is the stereotypical black alpha male, but they are just placeholder terms. When we talk about alpha and beta, we're talking about guys in specific contexts for why women are gonna monkey branch and see different options. There are a couple universal things which do make alpha characteristics. Facial features, strong jawline as opposed to a double chin, being tall versus being 5'2", but within those evaluations, it's still all relative. So uh, a Red Pill 101 introduction on that, the Alpha, the Beta, the Chad, the Tyrone, is just to really understand that there's always a totem pole, there's always a pecking order by someone's perspective. So Red Pill, and once you start learning Red Pill, is supposed to give you the knowledge to navigate the waters of women, life, money, success, happiness, and all of the above.